TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. I'm glad I never did these videos before, man. Before my channel was before I had to delete all my videos and relocate them to Facebook over here. I'm glad I didn't because now I have something to watch again. See, you gotta you gotta be strategic over here, man. Don't forget we are partnered with the Blueprint Mastermind. We have started the round tables. Um, this link will be in the description. Let's get into this, man. It's 11 a.m. I have nothing, you know. Luxury German motors. Oh, it's nice to be back in the beam, man. Luxury German motors are a perk of being a cop and thrilled to be driving one tonight. Rob Ely, alongside co pilot Bang! Miracle blows to the jaw! My bad. Pilot Dan Machin. Two, we're not far, but we're going to have a look. They're part of a pack of interceptors hunting for a black Astra, which has been reported as taken without consent. Just got past one uh, meadow lane on the left. Meadow lane, you might have done. Down, down. Straight down. Yeah, got it, I remember now. Another unit have got behind the Astra. We'll be caught too. What is it, an Astra? Like the crazy star? In there, uh, 30 seconds, coming up behind you. Yeah, 10 boys. Rob takes up position as car two. There you go. And within seconds, the target's got six interceptors and a police dog in his rear view mirror. This is the right indication. The car may not be his, but he's treating it with kid gloves. More driving Miss Daisy than runaway buddy. Boys, I think we'll probably just uh, follow it in. Agreed. Yeah, received. Rob's an advanced driver with 12 years on the force. I think I've seen like three episodes of this before. Not one of these. 12 years, preferred shift afternoon. Oh, you like to be in it. Okay. Favorite band, Metallica. He's an adrenaline junkie who's at his happiest going full throttle in a theme park. But a roller coaster ride looks off the cards tonight. The driver's pulling up as good as gold. Oops. Yeah, stop, 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 the uh, offside. <clears throat> if something seems too good to be true... Boys, we have a runner. Yeah, <laughs> he got up out of there, didn't he? Matter of fact, my, my bad. I do not glorify, sensationalize, and condone any of the acts or stories told. I am here simply to educate myself and others of the history of current state issues around the This is a TV show. I should be able to laugh. Anyway. Yeah, this too. It probably is. The driver's decided to take his chances on foot. Please, with the dog! Stop, stop, stop there! Please, please, stop! Stop, stop! Please, please, stop! Stop! He's made a beeline for the back gardens. Don't they got a dog? And cleared a fence like a thoroughbred. Oh, man, yeah, they got that dog on you, my boy. You, hey, you better be... <laughs> you better be one of the fastest dudes in the UK. Followed by police dog Rambo. Go, mate. Go, go. And Rambo's handler, Coops. Get the gate to the camp. <laughs> the fence was open. <laughs> okay. The suspect's fence hopping for England. Do you want to yeah, he is. He hurdling them. Go on, hop in. So the team divide. We got him. No. And conquer. Oh, y'all got him? Get him. Rob's collared the driver. Got one detained. Mm -hmm. That's what you'll make. Hey. Tell him. Come on then. You saying bolt? <laughs> You're walking. Oh, what? What's, what's my leg then? You got a license? Yep. You got insurance? Yep. So Why I are you run? Well, I was scared, didn't I? You're scared of what? Unfortunately for this sprinter, Dan never forgets a face. I think you've got a provisional license. Yeah, I have. Well, see, so you haven't got a license then. No. Nope. Dan's bang on. He's got no license, no insurance, and was a fence away from being Rambo's dinner. He always got you by the dog. Nah, 
Rambo the dog. I'm sorry, that dog had no chance. Bro was having gates like, like Michael Gatlin or whoever. And I hate running. Back at the starting line, both the driver and his mate who stuck around are searched. Yo, my legs gone, you know. You're not... Long, steady blow, tight stop. Keep going. The runners got enough puff to pass the breathalyzer. Zero. Did I look drunk and I was running away from you? Yeah. <laughs> In fact, he's full of hot air. I almost got away there, mate. Well, no, you didn't. Yeah, I almost did. Almost. Almost, almost not did. enough, though, is it? Did you? Hurt your leg. It seems no. Nottingham's answer to Usain Bolt is a sore loser. Told you. I've been running, jumping two... over 100 yeah. fences, mate. And I, and I followed you all the way. You carried two no, steps with the kid, mate. You didn't jump over fences. You yes, cheated. I did. I went on the side. Of course, did. I went straight to the bed. Followed you over there. Take me off a race you again, then. Cheated. We're playing sports day. No. Oh, exactly. No, we're not playing running races, are we? The car's owner doesn't want to make a complaint, so the cuffs are coming off. There's always the next time, isn't there? All right, next time. The dog will have you. Uh... But playtime's over. So you've been reported for consideration. Yes, question prosecutor you for the offence of driving with insurance, that. driving other than while it's in accordance with the licence. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention now something which later on in court. And if yeah. you do... I'm sorry. If this was Chicago, bro would have still been in cuffs. He would have been taken down. You would have All the paperwork would have been filed against you. Just for making the cop run, he going to get on that with you. They may be giving evidence. Sport Billy will get a summons to attend court. That's what I'm saying. I overtook the dog. jump over any of them, Bob? I've seen one of you give up and we'll go around that way. Despite being allowed on his way for now, Motormouth seems desperate for round two. What is five? Yeah, the dog didn't have me though. Did the dog catch me? Huh? Get it out now, let me run again. What do you reckon, Rambo? <laughs> I run every single time, even if I don't. Well, even from a dog? You reckon you're faster than the dog then? Yeah, if I, if I get that start, what I got at the first place, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. If, I, yeah. if I had 100 metres on you, I might win the 100 metre race. After a few parting pleasantries. No, you're too fat, no, man. Exactly, but I'm still beating because you can't run. start, aren't <laughs> And something for the socials, they call it a night. I ain't gonna lie, buddy was fast. Dude was fast. He hit that gate like some serious. Both Turn of them up. gates. Cheers. Oh, that's so slow, man. Yeah, so, so sure. I don't know. With the new purge laws in Chicago, I'm tweaking. They might have, they probably would have let him go. Oh, boy. I'm not a joke, He did his own legs, literally, because as he's uh, come out of the gardens onto the road, he's tripped over his own feet. That's the only reason why y'all caught him? His mouth did run a lot quicker than his feet did. Yeah. It's always the same, isn't it? You know, they always, they get, they get, once they've been caught, they get the big and give it all the mouth. <laughs> I'm still running down. Yeah. Probably will next time as well. 1 0, not please. Especially now he's got a limp. <laughs> no legal action was taken against the driver for taking the car, but he will be limping to court for driving without a license or insurance. Come on, no, there's a charge that they give you, and like normally when you run from the cops, you get another charge just for running. Yo! He's legging it now, look. After dark, deja vu. Oh my God! Let's go. We'll just let you go. I don't want you to speak to that cop, am I? Trying to smack me. I never tried to smack you at all! And... You two go to the door, you two go second. The firearms team respond to reports of a gun. No, we don't want that to happen. There we are, look at me. Do not move. Don't move. Across England and Wales, there are over 6,500 armed response cops who could be called upon at any time to tackle the most high-risk situations and protect those most in need. I'm just going to come forward and put some cuffs on. No sort of movement. Yeah, so All right. I don't even know if this is... <laughs> I, I think I stopped watching these because they didn't let me put them on YouTube. Yo, why every time I get to doing a video, they want to do something outside? It's the early evening. It's Patreon it is. No, it's it's not going to help. My dad suffers with substance abuse and alcohol abuse. And then um, he's presented in front of me what looked like a gun. And it frightened me half to death. Looks like a silver sort of pistol. OK. The reason I've got it is because I want to die. Uh, the reason I've got it is because I want to die. Still 
of a sort of pistol. Okay. Thing that he said to me was, oh, he said uh, the reason I got it is because I want to die. Reports like this are treated with extreme caution. From 2-2, we're going to be coming um, through shortly, so we won't be too long to the RV. Lisa DeSantis and Bruce Arnold are in one of several armed response cars en route to the address. I'm reading this now, that the son is at a different location, father's at his home address, and he's worried that he's relocated this gun that he took off him and that he may want to harm himself with it because he's unsure whether it's a real firearm. Firearms cops rendezvous and kit up, ready for anything. He has disclosed that he has the firearm because he wants to commit suicide and he wants to an officers with a gun with a view to draw him and shoot him. With reports that the suspect may harm himself or incite suicide by cop, his safety, as well as the team's, is a chief concern. Fellow interceptor Lee Frith is heading up the operation. You took a photo though, you took a second. Yeah. Um, can you do try and get some sort of black side containment on and take uh, Chris with you? Yeah. Is that all right? Um, yeah. yeah. Just just turn down the black. Pistol and shield and AEP. Yeah. Um, and then you sold. It's a W. Also a W. AEP, carbide. They're probably mean. It's not just guns at the team's disposal. They're also armed with the latest crime fighting technology. Using this, Eye in the Sky, equipped with a high definition camera, they can scope out the area. So we're going to go in down here, first left into this car park, and it's this bungalow here. We have had a site for the drone now, uh, two more happy ones. So the bungalow that we need to go to is just um, down the road. His intentions are to provoke a police shooting, so we don't want that to happen. Oh, we're going to be part of the team going forward um, with all the necessary equipment we need, and um, hopefully we'll get it, you know, a, a, a good resolution, a safe resolution. Everyone briefed on the plan, the interceptors make their way to the address. I think it's actually. Don't lie, this is a good show, man. I don't know if they're gonna let me post this, but this is a good show. Patreon, y'all gonna get this so if I can't post it to YouTube. So. That one there. The reportedly vulnerable suspect could have a real gun. That's hard. So the interceptors aren't taking any. Yeah, she a different person. She a different person. She a different type of... She got the nails to match her police uniform. That's... Di <laughs> you moving like you want to be here every day. Like this was your dream job. And I believe it was. Are your fingers webbed? That's hard. So the interceptors... Are no, it's not. Okay. That's hard. So the interceptors aren't taking any chances. Armed with bulletproof shields, baton guns, and carbines, they advance towards the address. Do you say it's the other door? Preventing anyone coming to harm is top priority. So they surround the house quickly and quietly. The suspect's allegedly fragile state of mind means they need to tread carefully and quickly. Once everyone is in position, two officers move forward. No answer. I think someone has confirmed he is in. Go for the kick it. If reports are correct, the suspect could come to the door with a gun. It's a tense moment. Hello. Hello. Mail's outside the address, just in a uh, t-shirt. The suspect is unarmed. No, 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 no,
The man may be in safe hands. Do you know I brought that? Get him away. But it's not over until the gun's secure. Where did he get a pipe from? Now I've got it. He's got it. Yeah, it's just one weapon uh, has been found. What we got? It's like being. Uh... What is it? So to me, at this this stage, it looks like it could be a, potentially a blank firer. So uh, if someone pointed that at me, I wouldn't have a clue whether that was a real real weapon or not. It's, uh, it's got some substantial weight to it. Um, it's just with the magazine that loads inside it. At the moment, that's empty. As operational firearms commander, Lee's... So his son called the police. I, I get that, man. He wanted his dad to be okay, and that's the only thing he felt that he could do, man. He's a civilian. That's what you do. Simple. Been in charge of many ops like this one. That's what you do, period. He's learned that when it comes to firearms, you can never be too careful. He needs to check whether the weapon is clear using a download bag. So it's a ballistically protected bag so that it's safe for me to point the weapon in there. If anything was to happen, then it's uh, contained within the bag. Um, yeah, yeah, you're right. Y'all need them out there. Because they be building stuff and all type of crazy stuff. So what I'm going to do is keep my finger away from the trigger um, and just try and cock the weapon, which I can do. And I can see that that's clear. Can you? Mm. Blocked off, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. 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 So that would indicate to me even further that, that that's Can't a even, blank fire because it's not even real. Um, the the breach is actually blocked, uh, so it, no projectile can come out of that, but it will make a loud noise and go bang. The gun's being removed from the address, and for Lee, the team has achieved the best possible outcome. Mm. So what we've got to do is protect him and protect ourselves uh, at every opportunity that we can. And the only way we can protect ourselves is make sure that we're armed. It was a discreet mode of arming, so unfortunately, when you dress like this, it's not very discreet. But the, I think the idea is that we don't point weapons at people. And not one gun was pointed in that direction. A mental health nurse, accompanied by a police officer, will travel with the suspect in a triage car. To assess I'm not well gonna being. lie, man. I really like how the UK be moving when they do stuff like this. Like, like this operation right here, they did well. <laughs> they did real well, man, to, to keep everybody safe, to make, like not make the person panic, and you know. His son's just worried about his welfare, um, and that's why we're there. We're not there as the bad guys. We're there to to help him really more than anything. Sad, really. Following this operation, the man agreed to relinquish the blank gun for his own safety. No legal action was taken against him. It's not real. In Mansfield, Rob Ely and Spencer Pugh are responding to a worrying 999 call. Someone's saying there's a bloke on the street with a knife. We're not a million miles away, so we're just responding to it now. The suspects allegedly made threats to stab his mum. It's here, next left. Is it on? Oh, Response cops are close, but the boys reckon they can tackle this one on their own. Somebody here, look. It could be their man. Hey, mate, you all right? Yeah. What are you doing? Why are you getting a bit twitchy? Ready? Four coppers are jumping out of car. He's got only two of us. Relax. Hey? Relax. Are you mad? I'm the guy suspected of carrying a knife and he's jumpy. I'm not mad. Not the best combination. Yeah. All right, mate, I tell you, turn around, put your hands behind your back, be detained at the minute. Turn around, face away. Turn around for us. Turn around, give me, yeah. a, give me a hat. Give, give me a hat. Give me a hat. Relax. Get that trouble. Chill out, mate. Chill, Chill out. Relax. On the floor. On the floor. Oh, get up. Floor? Get on the floor, mate. Get on the floor. Relax. Relax. Just chill out. You're not going to win, mate. You're not going to win. Relax. Back in, mate. Mate, Just go back out. inside. Go back inside. Yeah. Mate, you, get, you make it worse for yourself. You... Rather than a civil conversation, the bloke's kicked off, which Relax. usually ends one way. Just roll him onto his back. Him yeah. onto his back. Yeah, that's my bad arm! Well, how do I know when you won't talk to us properly? <sighs> Stop resisting as you... I'm an idiot. Right, then. 
Stand up. It's time for a search. Search me. Have you got anything on your shunt, no. Tav? Information that's person on this street with a knife. <laughs> do I look like a are you mad? How do I know? What are you keep calling me mad for? Oh, bad. Oh, chill out. All you have to do is relax. Relax, pal. Spencer joined the force what 20 years ago to lock up troublemakers. But tonight, he's PC Peacemaker. Right, why are you getting so? Why'd you take mate, it, mate? You, mate, I'm in a bad mood. I've just had an argument, and that's my bad arm. Oh, okay. Who we had an argument with? What? My mum. Your mum? Yeah. Right, well, we're here because someone's heard you yeah. saying so I'm going to get a knife and stab my mum. I feel like doing. Right, you, have you, you check me if I've got a knife? My have mum's you, 100 mile away, mate. So have you said that? Do that? But have you said that? No. Search me properly so you huh. know that I ain't got no flipping nothing. Ah, it's a case of neighbours. Nosy neighbours. Not me, that shouldn't have. Just you. They're happy this is their... So mom don't even live at the same address. ...respect and check for a discarded knife. But there's no sign of any weapon. Right, so what, why have you fell out with your mum if she lives 100 miles away? I just wouldn't answer her phone. It's not a great reason to fall out of your mum, is it? About. So yeah. you feel like stabbing your mum because you won't answer her phone? As if I'm actually... Listen, it's a figure of speech like I'd ever... Yeah, ever, I, ever, I know it is, mum, but it's an I've extreme... I've my to a woman. I'm not going to start my mum. Yeah, but it's an extreme thing to say, isn't well, it? not bad, mate, but I'm not going to start... He claims his threats to stab his mum were just a figure of speech. All right, with well, him, I just have a word with these folks in here. Could never get that mad to even utter that out of my mouth. <laughs> Spencer's off for a chat to try and figure out what's been going on. So what's brought you here? It's trying to mum. So do you know these people here? Yeah. Mm. And he returns with the lowdown. Obviously, they've said you've come around here asking for money, asking for a knife. Quid, yeah, I needed 20 quid. And, and you've been asking for a knife. Yeah, I, I did ask for a knife. Right. And then he's just been calling but me. You also, told, you also told me it was a figure of speech yeah, and it's right. okay because your mum lives 100 I'm miles away. Give, yeah. me, give me a knife and I'll go stab her. Right. But like, I'm gonna how, stab far away you, how far away does your mum live? Oh, right over any time. It's not 100 miles away, is it? That mate? was a figure of speech again. My bad. The lad's fond of a turn of phrase, but he seems all mouth, no trousers. And with no knife, the boys are going to let him go. Okay, so we'll uncuff you. We just expect you to go away. Happy? I'm happy, mate, yeah. Happy to let you go. Mm. Not okay. happy about you acting like an idiot. Well, you keep smirking and You need to too. chill, huh? Because you're getting yourself around. Blow back. Huh? That killed you. Yeah, you. Stop twisting on man. You see right. what I'm saying? His arm hurts. Right, they need to move, don't they? Otherwise, well, they're not going to come off. Well, not many other police officers are hurting my, hurt my arms like this. Well, not everybody kicks off as much as you do, do they, pal? Well, well yeah, I, I kick off every time, bro, and I've been in a couple of million times. He's free to leave, and it doesn't look like they're going to swap numbers. Let's see you get on your way. Yeah, let's see you get on your way. And all my okay. I've got no time for police, mate. Not no more. Not one right. your single breath. I ate you instigated that by your behaviour. What, for two of you, bro? Well, how many? Yeah. Else, what, what else do you expect? You both should as well. You are already free. <laughs> Ain't no more conversation, are you? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> because our job is not, our job's not to hurt you, mate. It's to restrain you. Try to look at the size of your arms, bro. Still should be getting on the floor. <laughs> Mansi was all this man walking nah, away. Low key, he do got bro do got uh, trees for arms. <laughs> you look like it as well, bro. To Tore, to See ya. See ya. The suspect said his goodbyes. Cops have been round to mum's and she's fine, by the way. Right, she's okay. Yeah. But it looks like he's missing Spence. See, just clear off, pal. You're not getting the hint, are you? Okay? We said if you stay around here, or if you, if you go back to your mum's, you're going to get locked up. The feeling isn't mutual. Simple as, go away. The lad's finally on his way. And so are the boys. Good begging to be arrested. <laughs> But it seems this bloke just doesn't know when to quit. He's legging it now, look. The suspect's running away from response cops. What they after him for? What's he done? Oh, what happened now? Oh, What's going off now? Bro, I just, just, said, I, I just, just let you go. I don't want you to speak to that copper man. Relax, get your arms behind your back. Yes, He's suspected of making threats to assault the copper. I was walking up Leighton Avenue, mate. Trying to smack me. I never tried to smack you at all. What did I say? So you knocked me out. What were you mad? Maybe it was just another figure of speech. It's uh, all going off in Mansfield tonight. You going to jail, buddy? You underestimate your behaviour, all right? You know what I'm saying? If you're very army defence, you do not much. I ain't never seen nobody. This is a world record, ain't it? 
man got let go and the and I don't know if y'all seen the family member slipped in the twenty. They gave him the money, and he's still out here. Okay, what you say? Maybe he should choose his words more carefully, as in court he was convicted for threatening behaviour, as well as two counts of shoplifting. He received a fine and 15 days rehabilitation. 15 days. Coming up. Oscar Tango 82, uh, got eyeball on the vehicle. Interceptors go incognito in Mansfield. Move up, move up. Box on, box on. Boasting a fleet of high-performance unmarked cars, Nottinghamshire's interceptors are often hidden in plain sight. No, no, just saying, just as a, you know, we always know when there's a police car. Now, they have been getting smarter and been using, like, cars that are, like, regular. Like, that's not a regular car. Black BMW, everybody knows what that is. <laughs> unmarked cars are brilliant. Uh, you become part of society and you can blend in. Sometimes it just offers that that last that little few seconds or a few minutes just to creep up on them and then the, the moment they realize and spot the vehicle and clock on that it's the police it's too late for them they're a cracking bit of kit really a cracking bit of kit flying solo in a cracking bit of kit Fills after a stolen Ford ST on cloned plates. We think he's heading into the Mansfield area, so we're just having to wander around now just to see if we can see it. What channel does this even come on? <laughs> Sir, can you run a search on you for that? Hidden in an unmarked 3 Series, Phil hopes to spring a surprise on the suspected car thief. We need to be a little bit crafty with it. We've got the unmarked cars out, so if we do spot it, um, the main aim would be to try and stop it before it even knows any police are near it. The Ford ST is still on the move. So y'all so think that he don't know what that is? Oh, where? And Phil's in the perfect position. From Phil, I'm at the Rufford Junction, but it's not come by yet. The Nick Ford on the false plates should appear any second now. The black car that just ran the red light. Oscar Tango 82, uh, got eyeball on the vehicle. The ST can reach 60 in just over six seconds and has a top Slow. end of 154 miles per hour. Slow they car. They don't want it to run. Got no vehicles for the cover. It's a left, left, left onto Shaftesbury Avenue. Phil rallies the troops. Gonna have another unit heading up to Abbott Road just in case it cuts through. Still no vehicles for the cover, it's doing a reset, notting on drive. Vehicle speed is increasing. Seemingly spooked by the sight of a marked car. It's a left, left, left into the car park of SO. Vehicle is straight through, straight through the car park, back on Chesterfield Road. It looks like the yeah, driver's now clock fill as well. 82, it wouldn't be aware of our presence as the marked cars have gone by it. Speed is at five zero on Chesterfield Road. A pursuit could be on the cards. How many vehicles are going to stay? Third and up. But they want to stop him before he gets the chance. Yeah, we've got sufficient vehicles to a uh, three-car box. Uh, as soon as we come to the stone feature of traffic lights, uh, potentially looking doing it there. So at this point, what do y'all do to stop him before he gets a chance? Like, what we pit maneuver? What y'all doing? Uh, With a stream of cop cars now in convoy. Stand by approaching we are the traffic light junction is on red. Phil seizes the opportunity to Back strike. To stand by, stand by. It's T-Pack time. Move up, move up. Box on, box on. A smooth maneuver. Did they ever have their lights on? Because I see he has his lights on now. 
But when they was behind him, did they have lights on? In an instant, both the driver and his mate are Maybe. surrounded. Put on brake, come. On brake. Sorry, have the car. Yeah. Should brake, Steve. Yeah. I mean, that was the best result we could have had. Uh, I see. Stopped. Uh, not going to a pursuit. It's a calm episode. Uh, managed to recover a car without it being damaged. Just checked the VIN on it. Uh, just come back to the stolen vehicle. So, uh, no, cracker result. The vehicle's going to be seized. The two occupants will be arrested and taken to the police station. Um, we just noticed there's quite a strong smell of cannabis within the vehicle. So what we'll also do is with the drivers go through the drug drive procedure with them as well. The whiff of weed has left the driver with some questions to answer. Hello, chap. Hello, right, first things first. You're under arrest on suspicion of theft of that motor yeah. vehicle. So you don't say anything, but it may harm you defence. You're not mentioning any questions, which later line in court. Anything you do say, maybe give an evidence. What? OK. There's also a real strong smell of weed in there. So when was the last time you smoked some weed? I, I don't smoke cannabis, pal. You don't smoke no. it at all? No worries. And also the alcohol bottles. When was the last time you had a drink of alcohol? I don't drink. You don't drink at all? No. Then, so deep breath in for my seal and blow. Drivers can be tested for alcohol almost immediately. Thank you very much. That's zero. That's fine with that one. Well, there's an eight-minute wait for drugs wipe results, so Phil keeps himself busy. Seriously? Whoever's been you. Seriously? Drugs wipe? I mean, I haven't even heard of that. Maybe because it's so legal here, it's like, well, not here in Florida, but in Chicago, weed is legal for recreational use. Using it, if it's not solely them, they've been using it as a bit of a drug run around car, haven't they? Listen, I haven't done nothing wrong. They've had me at the side of the road, and I didn't know the car was stolen. He might not know anything about the stolen car, but some name checks reveal the driver only has a provisional licence. And, to top it off... Hey, old chap. Yeah. Right. This has come back positive for cannabis. Yeah. So it's moment in time. You're also under arrest on suspicion of driving this motor vehicle whilst over the specified limit for cannabis. So we're going to be taking that down to the police station now. Uh, so he's under arrest for the theft of the vehicle, but we'll run through the drug drive. Can't deny that DNA. Procedure with him down in custody, which will mean taking a blood sample and sending that away for forensic examination. Back at the Nick, the blood samples have been taken. <laughs> During the blood procedure, he finally admitted that he'd uh, smoked some cannabis, which I think we already knew about, since he tested positive for it. I mean, pretty much we've got a chap who's only a provisional license holder, so he's driving otherwise in accordance with a license. He's got no insurance and he's driving around in a high-powered stolen vehicle. Uh, and not only that, he's... High-powered is a little OD. Like, zero to 60 in six seconds is not fast. Like, can we all agree on that? <laughs> or am I tweaking? He's also on, on, on drugs. Uh, so it, it is a danger. It's somebody who should never be on the road. And I think, to be honest with you, they've got that illusion that they can do what they want. Uh, so it's just nice to be able to put a stop to it. Following this textbook T-Pack, the driver is under investigation for drug driving and driving without a license or insurance. No legal action was taken against the driver or passenger in relation to the stolen car, and the Ford ST was returned to its rightful owner. Mm, I know they happy. Get the whip back. Nottinghamshire's specialist knife crime team travel over 35,000 miles a year in the battle against knife and drug crime. Anything you shouldn't have. Yeah. They make use of intelligence-led stop and searches. Stand still! And interceptor instinct is going to be 30, 40 plus searches. Stand still! I ain't gonna lie, bro, hopped out with the car is still moving. moving and wild, interceptor eh? instinct is going to be 30, 40 plus in there. To know who to look out for. Is intelligence yeah, linking you to the supply control the, drug in this the, area? And exactly where to look. Mate, what's down your pants? Yeah. Come on, huh? Heard him. Up, no. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Man. Dan and Gav are patrolling north of Knotts when they recognise a face from the morning briefing. That's Sam. That going up Lime Tree Road, away from Nottingham Road, on a bike, uh, a mountain bike on his phone. Intel suggests this lad could be peddling drugs. You're right. Stop a for us, pal. So Gav leaps out to have a word. No, mate. The reason I've stopped you to speak to you yeah. is because I recognised you from an image 
and some checks I'm aware of link you yeah. to drug supply. No, no, I'm only going to ask you now if you've got a bit anything got on, on you. Mate, nothing. I'll give you a search under misuse of drugs out, mate. You're detained for a search. Get a copy of the search record. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me just say though, buddy, I'm just going to hold you because I don't want yeah. you running off. Um, you but won't get nicked if you had a bit of personal or anything like that on no, you, I've got okay? On your look. All right, buddy. Just uh, keep, keep your hands where I can see him, buddy. Nottinghamshire police have the most successful stop and search. So now, this, this, is, this is my mindset. So now you stop him, hypothetically, he has nothing on him. But now he knows y'all are on to him. Yeah, like y'all speaking about him in the, in the briefings and what. Now he knows. So now he's going to move. Maybe he should stop. Maybe this is a wake-up call. Trade in the country. Are you okay? You look a bit yeah, nervous. Yeah. No, I'm not nervous. Yeah, you're right. Dan and Gav might be about to top up the tally. All right, mate, just spin around to me. Top. All right, mate. Got nothing on me, though. Whoever keeps calling will have to leave a message. I'm just going to put some cuffs on you because I think you've got something concealed down the front of you. On, mate. Just put your hands to your back, mate. Stinks of weed, spends when you're Yeah. Hot. Right, well, you got stuff down the front, mate. I ain't got nothing down the front. Mate, I can f take you for a strip, mate. You got a bit of personal down there, right? I ain't got nothing on, mate. Right, mate, what have you got down the front, I mate? I got nothing down the front, I'm telling you. Look, right, we've, we've been through this before, haven't yeah, I've we? I've got nothing. Look, you've seen me. Have you searched my pockets? I've got nothing on me. Right, down the front of your pants, mate. You've got, got something. Nothing down the front of my pants. Dan thinks he can feel a plastic package. I've got nothing. You want to double check, mate? Double just check. Just so you see where your opinions are. You double check. Go on, double check. Well, the suspect wants a second opinion. Nothing there. Nothing there, look, mate. Nothing. You can hear it. You can't hear nothing. Just quiet a second, mate, because I can't hear myself think. Nothing there, look. You definitely. There's nothing there. I'm telling you now. There's nothing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The team are convinced the suspected drug dealer is hiding something. That's bollocks. Nothing there. Let's go have a seat there. You got a tuck. No. Looks tough. Yeah, but why are you going to take me in for a strip search? Because I, there's nothing there. Because I believe, OK, I have uh, a strong suspicion yeah, yeah. that I could feel some plastic and I can hear some plastic around there. That's why you've been taken in. Mama! If you can tell me now that it is there and I can fish it out here, yeah. then we can sort it. Yeah, I ain't got nothing on me, mate. You've got nothing on you, so we're going to go down for a strip search then, yeah? The lad's bike will be dropped off with a relative. In the meantime, the promise of a strip search... Ah, uh, he was right outside the crib. ...just sent him backpedalling. Oh, I've got some more on me. I'd rather you be honest with me. Let's yeah. try and sort this out, OK? What you got on you, mate? It's personal use. OK, how much we got? It's a couple. Just bought it. Oh, could you keep, keep, keep your hands out, mate? Yeah. OK, right. Right. Pull it out for me now. Right, I'm watching you. Pull it out for me. OK, bro. Yeah. So that's what we've got down how there. Many? Just a couple, that's it. A rummage in the nether regions and a bag of suspected cannabis appears. You're under arrest on suspicion of possessing cannabis with intent to supply. Yeah. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm defence. Chalk up another successful stop and search to team knife crime. Wait, we know what's going on. I know, yeah, of course we do. Intel, instinct and eagle eyes, job done. We just took an opportunity to grab him and stop and search him. And he's got several bags of cannabis down his pants. His phone's ringing off the hook and he's got cash on him. We think he's still supplying drugs. So we're going to take him to custody and then we're going to do some searches. Uh, after that, mate. Searches where? Like searches of his house? Whilst Gav and Dan drop the cyclist off at the Nick. I'm not gonna lie, these look like the most uncomfortable pair of handcuffs. Like, what is this? That look like it hurt. Oh, it is, but last time we arrested was... The rest of the knife crime team searched the lads linked to dresses. Joe Riley is booking in the findings. So yeah, when we searched uh, the bedroom, um, at his grandma's address, found this, which just looks like maybe um, some female makeup or something like that. But when we took it off, we can see the end. Looks like a torch, but it's got the metal all the rounds of when it sparks up when you press the button. As well as what looks like a stun gun type device, oh. the team have also seized a knuckle duster. It hey, caused a lot of damage to somebody in one of these. So yeah, that, that's off the streets as well. For the suspected cannabis weeded out from his pants, the cyclist awaits his day in court for possession with intent to supply a Class B drug. The weapons were seized and destroyed. They be celebrating like they just bust, busted El Chapo or something. Like, chill out.
I get it. One, you gotta, you know, celebrate the small victories as the police. But you know. still to come, Salute. a tricky round a of the job. name game. And your first name? Uh, Jeffrey. Uh, Wayne. Uh, oh. Jason. As Jason. Rob and Jim meet Jeffrey Wayne Jason. Jason, no middle names. No. You sure? Smith. I convinced. With Maybe out there. The truth may be out there, but the interceptor files suggest otherwise. People will always lie as long as they think they can get away with it. It's just little things like, what's your name and date of birth? Everyone can reel it off. Yet, you'll get people stuttering. It's just these little signs that you need to pick up on, you need to be observant. It's the run-up to fireworks night, with Guy Fawkes tried and sentenced. What is what is what is fireworks night? What is that? Like Fourth of July or something? No, wait a minute. My bad. Y'all don't have Independence Day, so what is fireworks? Bob and Jim need something else to light their fire. Going quick, eh? And a sure way to catch their attention is to rocket past like the bright spark in this serenity. You weren't going that fast. He's going quick. Quick light show courtesy of the boys in blue and the driver pulls over. Hello mate. Hi mate. You alright? Why so quick? Pulling over. Yeah, why so quick up here? Oh sorry mate. Is it yours? Yes it is. The lad claims he's just picked the car up and he's brought his mum along for the ride. Do you want a trade plate mate? You didn't know that, did you? Yeah, of course not. Trade license plates are individual to the user or business, so the speedy Sorrento driver should know his number by heart. Turn your car off, mate, please. We'll come and talk to you properly. Jim's an interceptor of many talents. Advanced driver, specialist firearms officer, and with over well, two decades on spinning. the force, he even comes with a built-in lie detector. Why are you driving up here so quick? I'm that's, sorry, mate. That's, yeah, that's the am, reason we've come yeah, to talk to you. Yeah, I understand you, yeah. I am so sorry. I, I, but why? Tell me why. Can you? 2.5. <laughs> yeah, but look, it's 30, isn't it? I understand what you mean. Yeah, yeah it's, it's residential. There could yeah. be kids knocking around. He's well-versed in engine size, but how will he fare on general knowledge? I'm about 2.5, what is it? Fingers on buzzers. Here's your start of a 10. What's your last name, bud? Jeffrey. J double F E O I. And your first name? Uh, Jeffrey. Uh, Wayne. Uh, oh. Jason. Jason Jeffrey. Sorry. Oh, two mate. first names? It's not usually multiple choice. Jason. Who are we going now? I ain't convinced with this lad. Jason. It may not be a specialist subject, but the driver is through to round two. Jason, no middle names. No. You sure? Smith. What? Smith. Smith? Yeah. Middle name? James. Jason James Jeffrey. Final answer? Now listen. Three I'm names? I'm not saying you're lying. Three first names? <laughs> but at the minute, you can't get a right answer. Honestly. It's, I'm giving you like 20 chances before we're getting it. Next round. Have you been in trouble before, Jason? And pass isn't an option. Let's hang on, I got... We've got, got pulled in ball wall. Yeah. What for? Um, speeding. Right, okay. Mercedes. Learned your lesson? Yeah. No? No. Yeah. Sort of. Listen, I need to prove you are who you say you are. Yeah, I understand. Okay? Yeah. Don't worry, Jim. I'm on it. Using the in-car laptop, Rob searches the DVLA database for the lad's photo card driving licence. Hmm. Not convinced. You got a brother? No. Can we see? Whilst Rob carries on digging, Jim decides to ask nope. the audience and checks in with Mum. Has your boy got a driving licence? Yeah. Course, what's, yes. what's his name? Jason. People take great pleasure in lying to us right. to try and get themselves off certain things. So we've just got to do our job properly, that's all, and make sure he's all good to drive. I, I much apologise for speaking there. It's my daft fault. 
you know what I mean? I, I'm just kidding. I'll tell you the truth. Promises, promises. Yeah, B. What's the outcome of this now? We're looking at your photo, mate. Used to be a bit skinnier. A bit skinnier? Yeah, probably we'll a little put bit. Put a few pizzas on, lad. That's all right, mate. Putting a few pizzas on and dishing a few porkies out. What did you say your first name was? I'm forgetting already. Jason. Earlier, this mastermind's shakiest subject was his own name. And your first name? Uh, Jeffrey. Uh, wing. Uh, oh. Jason. Jason Jeffrey. Well, Jeffrey, Wayne, Jason, or whoever you are, that sound means you've got one final chance at the million dollar question. You're okay. on the verge of getting arrested. Right. So we can do it one of two ways. Okay. We can deal with you here yeah. for whatever, whatever issues you're trying to hide by, by giving us different details. Right. Or you can continue to tell me that your name is Jason. We we'll go to the bride bowl, put you on live scan and prove that you are lying. It's quite right, because we've just seen a picture of the person who you are, mate. Bridewell or no Bridewell? Wayne? Wayne, right, OK, Wayne. You got me, lads. Yeah, I'll tell you good one. You just got me, lads. So right. what's the crack? Look, look, I've took the piss. I'm sorry. Thank you for apologising. Very... So... But why? Why? Would... Why? All right, tell All me right, why. I'll tell you the truth, mate. I'm telling you no, I'm not an idiot. Mastermind does indeed have a brother, and he's tried to pull a fast one by giving his details. So tell us why. I haven't got a driver's licence. Yeah. I'm on a provisional. Yeah. Uh, I got done last time. Yeah. You know. Wayne, Wayne, you're a grown man, you're a liar, mate. You're a liar. You've just lied what? to me, to him. And yeah. you know something else that makes it even worse? What? Your mum has just lied to me. Mm. For the sake of no insurance and no driving licence. A little bit of good old-fashioned uh, policing, a little, bit, a little bit of digging, and we've got the man. And the man has bagged the booby prize, a seized Sorrento. Take them plates out of it, ma'am. Don't look at me like I'm a piece of shit. I'm looking at you because you've lied to me. Why am I lying to you? No, no. Why? Because you can't, because he's committed a, a moving road traffic offence, yeah, so... I'm insured for my car, and then I'd be... Right. Yeah, well, you, you were lucky for not getting locked up at the You should have though. perhaps thought about that before you lied to us. You're, you were, you're on the edge for getting locked up for perverting the course of justice. Now is prop... So she was going to arrive or something. Probably the right time to keep Mum. OK, you're being reported for consideration of the question of prosecuting you for the offences of driving otherwise in accordance with no insurance. Yeah. OK, what, well, do you want to offer any reply? No. I'll tell you something, right? You're quite a distinguishable boy. You're a big lad. Yeah. So we cruise round up north quite often. So if we see you again mm. in a car, you're going to you get talked. You, you won't see me in a car. I'll tell you now. Thank you very much. See you later another day, all right? Yeah, you won't. You won't. We will do. We will do. You're right, we will. See you later. Well done, mate. I mean, he couldn't lie in bed straight, could he? Mate. So it weren't that odd to, <laughs> to, to suss him out. He didn't know that... He didn't know... It was Wayne, Dan, L, Gacy. For the details of the plate. No. He couldn't give us the right name. Mum was... Mum! Mum! The good thing with the technology that we have nowadays, you know, we've got... We only have to go onto our, our systems where we can quite quickly get a photograph. You look at the photograph, it's obvious that it's not him. So, a little bit of digging, um, clever use of the policing systems, and, uh, and soon detected that it was... Uh, you know, that it wasn't the person gave the details of and, and figure it out.